Hi guys, it's me, Jeannie, the Witch of Boise, and I'm here to do your pick a card reading for the full moon in Virgo. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So before we begin, make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe. Also comment below, tell me if any of this resonates with you. Also before we begin, I just want to tell you that these are general readings. Um, if it resonates with you, that's great. Uh, I want to hear all about it in the comments. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, just make sure that you've listened to the two other choices because that might resonate with you more in your situation or there might be like kind of different messages throughout the all three of them. Um, this full moon is going to be on Friday, March 18th, 2022. Um, this Full moon is going to be definitely in Virgo, but it's on the cusp of Libra, which I'm so excited coming from a Libra moon, Virgo rising, super stoked about it. Um, these stones, so there's three choices. These are going to be stones. I found them in the crystal Bible. Um, these stones are associated with the zodiac sign Virgo. So um, that is where I found this. This is the crystal Bible by Judy Hall. And um, also before we begin to get those choices, I just want to apologize. My throat and my voice is a little bit shot. I'm just getting out of um, being sick. I haven't been sick in so long, <laughs> but um, I'm feeling much better. Uh, I just, it's just a little hoarse. So I just really, really um, uh, apologize if it's a little bit like, what is wrong with her voice? <laughs> it's because I was sick, okay? All right, so let's go over our choices really quick. And our first choice is going to be Amazonite. And that is one. <laughs> and then we have Moonstone number two. <laughs> I'm just a dork right now. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have Opal, which is number three. So pick a cat, any cat. We're going to start with number one, which is that Amazonite. All right. And so in this deck, it is life purpose. Um, in the Crystal Bible, Amazonite is also about filtering energies. This is a soothing energy as well. So it filters out like the negativity or any sort of just energy that you're not wanting. And it also soothes it. It's balancing your feminine and masculine energies too. In this reading, when I was picking these cards, not necessarily picking, but shuffling and getting the ones that flew out, um, two songs came up. The first one was For You by H.I.M. or Him, depending on how <laughs> you want. And then the second one was Blueberry Yum Yum by Ludacris, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not under the influence of blueberry yum yum. I'm just under the influence of lack of sleep for like the last three days. So let's begin with your reading. We, you got number 10, turtle. I love toitles. And then number 44, hummingbird in reverse. And then you have number four, deer. And so turtle is <laughs> always, anytime I see turtle, I think of that. I love toitles. But um, the turtle is like Mother Earth. Um, this is connected with nature and your inner nurturing mother. So this is a really beautiful energy that's happening right now to you. Um, the hummingbird in reverse is matters of the heart. So there's something that's really upsetting you. Um and it's unable to see the current blessings and joys. So you're kind of in this like pessimistic um, energy and it's really just like stuck into your heart. So there's this, you need to like really start to nurture yourself during this full moon. Um, and then for deer, it's gentleness and it's to heal all wounds and love as they are. So this is already a really beautiful message right now. It's trying to be nurturing to yourself and be gentle to yourself. And even if you're going through hard times or um, you're thinking about the things in the past and, and, and things like that, um, it's just being gentle and kind to yourself for sure. And that's what this energy is happening right now. Um, let's get your tarot cards out. So you had the four of wands, 
Um, you have the shadow side, and, and this is the witch's tarot. And in traditional tarot, this is the devil card. And then you have empress. And so it's really interesting because when you got turtle, I like toitles. It reminded me of the empress. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to stop doing that. But seriously, it just pops in. Um, it did remind me so much of the empress energy. And it's just nurturing yourself and, and that motherly energy. And so there's something that's really holding you back from that. And that's that devil energy. And it's really like showing that reverse hummingbird energy as well where it's unable to release the chains of the past in order to move forward. And it's time to really celebrate yourself, your accomplishments, your foundation, what you've built. And for some of you, it might have just been absolutely nothing and you built it all yourself. So it's stop looking into the past, stop doing that, and really focus on your blessings and what you've built and... Um, have and celebrate yourself in that sense. And then you had four of swords. So four of swords is about resting. And so for me, it's, it, it kind of shows this, like, just stop. It's like, stop trying to beat yourself up over what was once was, or what hasn't to be, you know, what, what it could have been. It's totally just being like, lay that sword down. You need to rest. You need to just chill out and nurture yourself. Celebrate yourself. Stop holding yourself back from your potential. Then you've got Hathor, and that's receptivity. And it's allow yourself to receive, and this will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So you're in this like really beautiful moment of receiving energy. And so that's what we need to really focus on is releasing that chains from the devil energy and that hummingbird in reverse. Stop looking in the past because that's lowering your vibrations and you're not able to receive that energy that you're looking for. And you have this just like powerful energy to get what you're trying to manifest to you. And then you have um, Lakshmi. And that is bright future. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. And so this just tells you, stop fussing over what has happened. Stop fussing about things that, like the future. Be in the present. Be ready to receive it. And know that you're going to be having a bright future ahead of you. Then you have stone people, which is vigilance. And I think the vigilance doesn't necessarily come from... Um, like uh, vigilance against other people or like trying to like watch yourself, you know, I think it's vigilance on yourself and this energy of looking in the past, looking in the past, looking in the future, beating yourself up. You need to be vigilant and stop yourself from it. So when you catch yourself being like, oh, woe is me. This is sucks. My situation sucks. I miss what happened in the past and now it's different and blah, 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 blah. You have to catch yourself and say, no, guess what? I am doing just fine in the present. And even if you aren't doing fine, you're going to be doing fine. Your future is bright and beautiful. And you know, it just take a rest. You don't have to do everything a million miles a minute. You don't have to. So take a breather, take a breath. You're fine. And then you have 21, which is Sagittarius. I see. Now, there's a couple different things. I just had to do a little side note. Um, when that Blueberry Yum Yum by Ludacris came on, I just laughed because I was like, one of like the biggest stoners that I know is a Virgo. And I'm like, this is just perfect for that. And then I kind of stopped and thought about it and was like, well, actually, I know one that's, that's a bigger one. And there's Sagittarius and then this came out. So that's a little side note. Has nothing to do with this reading, but just wanted to share. <laughs> but um, the Sagittarius I see though. So it's, I actually, I, I feel like this is something where you're going to be really seeing this evolution that's happening for you. And it's going to be like, you're going to realize how much you're actually looking in the past or looking in the future. And you're in that kind of like negative, like not helpful energy that you're not going to be able to be 
to receive um, your manifestations and things that you're wanting. And I think you're going to actually like see this for yourself and you're going to see things start to change. So when you start to like catch yourself and you're like, no, like let's get out of this mindset and start counting, like just name like the first five things that comes to your mind that you're grateful for. Snap yourself out of that mindset. And I think you're going to start to also see a different shift and a change that's going to happen in your life as well. So I think that this is a really big turning point for the people that chose um, Amazonite. And they're going to really see a huge shift into like their own reality. Really beautiful energy. All right, guys, that is it for, the, for that reading. Make sure you do like this video. Hit subscribe. Also comment below. Tell me if any of this resonates with you. We are on to number two. I'm going to grab a quick drink. All right. Now we're on to number two, and that's going to be Moonstone, which is cycles. Moonstone is such a beautiful stone, one of my favorites. Um, Moonstone's about new beginnings. It's about promoting um, intuition and empathy. It also calms over reaction and like irritation, and it enhances your psychic gifts. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful stone to begin with, and it's just a beautiful energy as well. It's one of my absolute favorites. I love the purple and blue that comes out of it. All right, your two songs that came on this reading was the first one was Snapshot by RuPaul. And the second one, I'm going to mispronounce this. It's a French song. It's um, Contantes. And that's C-O-U-T-A-N-C-E-S by Dick Anagarn. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, those are, and that is from the movie, oh, I can't remember, but it's a beautiful song. I love it. All right. So your overall energy was number 51, and that's Jaguar. Jaguar is about integrity and impeccability. It's about karma as well. So it's showing you um, the penalties of poor behavior. And it also is showing you the rewards of good behavior and like good deeds and goodness. So it's kind of this like really, it's, it's a fine line between like a self-righteousness as well to being like looking down on people. But it's also just like that, like karmic aspect. So um, it's a really powerful energy that's happening. All right. So for your tarot cards, you got the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands in reverse, the Wheel of the Year um, in traditional tarot decks. It's the Wheel of Fortune, but it's in the reverse. And then the Five of Cups. So remember, this is Moonstone, Cycles. So I think for some of you that chose Moonstone, you are either in your oneness. So this can be um, a, a, like a divorce, a separation, that kind of energy. But this is also just being like, I know what I want. And it's that feminine energy. I know what I want to receive. It's straight to the point. Kind of in a roundabout way, a little bit bitchy in that sense, but it's boss babe energy. It really is that like, this is what I want. We're done. And it just feels like that there is like a creativeness that has ended. It's almost like it's like a burnout, but like, it's just like, you're not inspired anymore. And it's because you're so focused on this, like, I want this to happen instead of like letting things like naturally happen and naturally come to a head. Um, it's really, it's really kind of like a forceful energy that's happening. It's like really controlling and um, it's just, it's time to just really let go. And it's because you're really focused on what's happened to you or um, faults that are currently happening 
and you're only you feel like you're completely out of control so you're trying to control like super control aspects in your life and that's just not good for you and I think you're starting to see that especially with that jaguar energy because you're like I know what's good I know that I'm a good person, but like, why isn't, why aren't things happening? Well, it's because you're putting too much control over things too. Um, and I just like kept thinking of that snapshot song by RuPaul and it's, I want you to remember me. And it's like this, like, I want you to remember me and I want you to remember how powerful and how special I am. And the problem is, is that you're so focused on this control and like almost like a control of, and this is Virgo energy too, what I'm talking about. It's control of how you are perceived and how you look. And it doesn't even necessarily mean in a physical aspect, but, and this is also Jaguar energy. It's, it's how, how p other people view you as a person. And it's like that energy has to stop. And you can do that to a certain extent, but you can't be completely in control all the time. So you have to let go of that. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. And what that's telling me too is that this is the time to really focus on work and focus on what your goals are and stop focusing and micromanaging on the little tiny details that are happening around you. And things that are out of your control, because this is what is that's what's um, alleviating that um, creative energy as well. So it's focus on what's important, and it's even like prioritizing what it is, and just focus on that, and don't focus on all the rest of the BS and control. Then you got Mawu, which is Mother Earth, and you are called upon to help with environmentalism. So. This can mean a couple different things. This is definitely like Empress energy. So it's nurturing yourself. And obviously with all of this control that's happening, it's be kind to yourself, you know, give yourself some slack. Also, this is connecting out with nature too. And this could be something where if you're been, if you wanted to start um, doing um, volunteer work, <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to pause this just for a second. I'm so sorry. I just really had to cough really loud. And I just didn't want to, like, you know, show you guys. <laughs> but anyways, this is about, like, volunteer work. This is about, um, uh, or or not, not just about, but if you're interested in doing any sort of volunteer work, this can be something that is related environmentally. So this can be like nature center or something like that. So it's just really connecting with your mother energy as well as nature and mother earth. And then you have da, um, Damara. Damara. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is guiding children and you are good at helping counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. This is also telling me that this is volunteer work. It's time to get that, those not necessarily creative juices, but like feeling passionate about things. And I think that you've just been really down on yourself and you're just like, I have to get to this point and I don't care. I'm not going to have fun, blah, 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 blah. And you know, you need to focus and nurture on yourself and as well as give back to others. And I think you're going to really start to feel a different shift that's happening. And I think you'll be surprised by the change and um, direction that destiny and fate will take you on that. So just I, I honestly am feeling like a really big calling and especially with the Jaguar energy, a big calling of helping others as well. Because I feel like you've helped yourself enough in that sense. And you're so in control. And it's like, you know what, it's not that you want to go control something else. But it's just like, let go of control and give your best attributes and like your best self and help other people. Why not? And then you have shaman, ancient healing wisdom. And I, I totally feel like you have this beautiful energy to share with other people and it's time. So I think that we you need to get out of the cycle of like what we said before and, and start to share your wisdom with other people. 
And then you have eight, which is Chiron, and that's healing. You're in a healing moment with that. And I think that especially with what's happening up here with that um, Queen of Swords energy and um, just not in that whole control issue, I think that you're you're prolonging yourself from healing from what has happened to you. So this is a good time to promote that healing. All right, guys, that is it for that reading. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe. Also comment below. Tell me if any of this resonates with you. All right, <laughs> I, I had another coughing fit. I apologize. But now we are on to number three. So number three is Opal. It is Joy. Ooh, I love this card so much. Joy amplifies love, passion, desire, eroticism. <laughs> I did not pronounce that right. Emotional stabilizer. It's reflective and it, it it's reflective in the way that it will reflect energies and send them back. So if you have like any sort of, um, you're not understanding or you're like, this is a confusing energy or what are they thinking? That's that energy gets sent back to you and like, oh, gotcha. It's a beautiful energy, but I love that joy energy. So you had two songs. Um, the first song was Love You So by The King Can and Barbecue Show. And then you had PYT by uh, Michael Jackson. Okay, so your um, overall energy was number six, which is snake, and that's transmutation. This is fire energy, everyone. Um, this is fire energy that creates passion, desire, procreation, ambition, creation, and dreams. Like, this is really, really beautiful energy. And this is actually, snake is a sign, at least for me personally, that I've been seeing everywhere. And I don't think of people or like um, symbols of when I see snakes as like people, you know, you know, that like energy where you had like the best thing I can describe it that comes to mind is um, when Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian went to like Taylor Swift and then did like the snake emojis and stuff like that. And, you know, I think snakes get a bad rap. I think that they're cool as hell. They kind, of, they kind of scare me a little bit, but like, I like them. I had like a spiritual moment with one <laughs> when I was camping. It was great. But anyways, not about me. Let's talk about your reading. Um, It's a really beautiful energy that's happening. So there's a lot of fire and passion and, and joy. Your tarot cards are the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and then Death in Reverse. And so um, with the Seven of Cups, this is a, um, it's a really interesting energy because this is also Neptune energy. So it's a little bit of illusions, but this is about choices that are happening. So you're going to be offered a lot of choices in this next moon phase. And you just want to make sure that you don't just pick one because it looks great or it's like the best choice. You want to really investigate it because things might not be as they seem. And this can come from that snake energy that I was just talking about earlier that I don't like to associate snakes with. But like, you want to make sure that you are checking out everything from um, before you make a choice because there might be a better one. And I think a lot of us, and I'm talking about me as well, a lot of us will go to this is the easiest option because I don't want it to be difficult. And in the long run, it's like the worst option to have. And sometimes the most difficult options usually get the best results. Now, there's a feminine energy with that Ace of Pentacles. And um, this is also the start of some maybe money coming in. This is also a start of earthly matters. So this can be a time as well where you're starting to maybe focus on your health, um, focus on just things of the earthly matters. It doesn't necessarily have to be finances, although I always kind of go to that as as pentacles. But this can be also just focusing and getting passionate about different things that it might even start a new business as well. That creativeness is going to a thing, going to start a new thing for you. <coughs> okay, I'm going to pause this just really quick. I was doing so well, <laughs> but, um, there's something that's happening though, that 
is um it that you thought was over that you you thought was like an ending it was done this is zombie energy that's coming back to you so this might be something that an option that you thought is no longer an option so it's just keeping that in mind as well and really focusing on that snake energy that fire energy that passionate energy and joy and then you have the five of cups in reverse which is a beautiful energy this is saying that you're really in the moment that you're really being present and that's going to be a really big thing for you to get this beautiful creative and fiery energy and this joy as well then you have unanga and that is easy does it there's no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing so this is also not forcing things so um with the like with that seven of cups energy that's happening and that illusion um it's don't force a situation if it doesn't feel right it's not right you know and if it's if it's not the right timing it's not the right timing and it might be also um an indication where it's just like be joyful in the moment and in being present in the moment and also it's just like if it doesn't work out then you know what it might work out later but like just focus on your joy and your happiness and your oneness right now and then you have DNA, which is karma. And karma is always at play. So if you're feeling like a little bit left out or um, maybe that you made a choice and someone's kind of rubbing that in your face a little bit, or, and that could be even, you know, just, just a situation where you're just like, this sucks. The thing is, is that karma is always going to find you. And with DNA especially, and I just noticed this too, but um, with DNA especially, this is something that can be passed on as well. So in this life, you might not get that karma, revenge, or whatever, but it's going to follow your bloodline um, until you get it, until your that generation breaks that. Now, look at that DNA card. Those are two snakes. That's pretty wild. That's awesome. And then you have um, 39 air element communicating. So this is the time to be joyous and communicate. Communicate with people. Communicate with what you like, what you don't like. People won't know. They can't read your mind. You need to communicate. And then you have 45, which is part of fortune and increase, which is really, really good, um, especially with that Ace of Pentacles. That's money coming in. That can be an increase of any sort. So... It's getting that keeping that positive mindset and that energy that's happening and you're going to see that increase to you and then you have 44 solar eclipse and that's revolution so this is like a time that you're gonna actually see this revolution that's coming and um, it's gonna be really powerful so just really own in and like lean into that snake energy that fire energy the passion energy and that opal that joy and I think that you're gonna come out really really well all right guys that is it for that reading make sure you do like this video hit subscribe also comment below tell me if any of this resonates with you hey thanks so much for hanging out with me i'm so sorry um i don't think i'll do this again if i'm sick <laughs> i've had to pause this video um like three times so i appreciate you um joining me and supporting me and i'll hang out with you soon bye